What's up, my beautiful butterflies? Welcome to another vlog, another vlog of mine. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Mix Bar body sprays slash perfumes. And I'm actually really excited because I love perfumes. Anyways, let's just get right into this video. Okay, so I am going to be giving my personal opinion and review on the Mix Bar perfumes slash body sprays. But before I do so, long story short, it's funny because I recently been seeing like this big old hype and rave about the Mix Bar perfumes slash body sprays on TikTok. And not too long ago, the first time I seen these Mix Bar body sprays and perfumes, I want to say was probably like the beginning of February, maybe the end of January. And I had seen them at Target and I remember seeing the little setup and I was like, ooh, this looks cute because I knew it was new. And like they just looked, you know, they looked cute. The packaging was cute. And I smelled one of them. I was like, ooh, it smells good. And I was literally contemplating whether I wanted to purchase it or not. But my little cheap ass was like, nah, I'll wait till next time and I'll buy it next time. So time flies by and I forget all about the mix bar perfumes and body sprays until now. So now I'm seeing it on TikTok and people are just raving about it and how it smells so good. All the scents smell good and they last long and they smell expensive, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try and get my hands on these and see what if it's really worth the hype. So I went to my local Target and nada didn't find nada like they were literally sold out there was nothing so i was like damn it so i asked them when their next shipment was going to be they had no freaking idea when it came to that perfume they didn't know so i was like great um because they've been saying they were sold out for a while and i was like gosh damn it fine so i ended up going to like a total of four different targets to see if i could find at least one of these body sprays slash perfumes no luck nada they were sold out everywhere and i was so freaking annoyed i was like gosh damn it like i seen these damn sprays a couple months back and i should have bought them or bought one when i had the chance and i didn't so i ended up having to purchase these body sprays online that is the only way i was able to get my hands on them but before i actually purchased them online the ones that i wanted i actually was able to get my hands on the little miniature perfumes so this one came with five and as you can tell one of them is missing because i had used it up i literally fell in love with that scent it smelled so good and now it's gone so that one was the vanilla bourbon and then it came with the cloud musk the glass rose the coconut palm and then the tangerine squeeze so i was able to kind of test them out to get a feel for it, to see if i like the scents or not and i actually did so the vanilla bourbon that one's gone because I did like that one. That one smelled really good. The Cloud Musk, I did like. The Glass Rose, um, eh, it was okay. The Coconut Palm, I did like. And then the Tangerine Squeeze, eh, it was okay. But let's go ahead and get started with the body sprays. So we're going to start off with my favorite one. So I had purchased the Mix Bar Cloud Musk Hair and Body Mist Spray. And this one, you guys, oh my gosh, it smells so... so... <sighs> it smells so good. It reminds me of like that matte black polo cologne for men. If you never smelled that cologne, it smells really good. But it has like a little tint of a woman's scent. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but it smells really good. Like a cologne scent, but for women. This one is one of my favorite ones. I love this smell because I love the smell of... I love Guy's Cologne. Guy's Cologne smells so good. And this just reminds me of like that matte black polo scent for men. But the cologne. And it just smells good. This is one of my favorite ones. So I did purchase this in the um, Body Mist Spray. So this one is 5 ounces. And I believe these run for $8.99, the body sprays. And then because I really fell in love with the Cloud Musk scent, I did end up purchasing the perfume. So they come in these little boxes. The packaging is really cute. It's simple. It has a little bit of color to it. And it comes in this little packaging. So these ones do run about $18.99. And this is so cute. Look at this. Look at this little perfume. It's like super simple but super cute at the same time it does say this is 1.7 ounces but this one you guys it does really smell good 
I had to buy the perfume because I fell in love with the body mist spray. So this is one of my favorites. The next one is going to be the Blackberry Tonic. It smells really good. Yes, it smells fruity, but not like cheap fruity. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But the Blackberry Tonic, it has that blackberry scent to it. It smells really good. It smells like blackberries. And it has more like a warm scent to it. Like a, a hot, spicy, warm scent to it. But with the mixture of fruity. I don't know if that makes any sense. And because I did really fall in love with this one, I did purchase the perfume as well. So the perfume does come in this same box. I would say it's more of a summer scent. And it looks like this. Same thing as the other one. And yeah, it smells really good. It has 1.7 ounces. So I would say yes to the blackberry tonic if you're looking for more of like a summer like a summer scent i would say yes to this one the next one is going to be the vanilla bourbon so this one i freaking fell in love with it that was the first one that i fell in love with when i purchased the little sampler so the vanilla bourbon this one smells more sweet it does smell more sweet but not like disgusting cotton candy cheap sweet if you know what i mean you know what i mean it just smells warm and sweet i would say this is a perfect scent for like fall this would be my fall scent it smells really good so this kind of reminds me of arroz con leche and in english sweet rice if you're hispanic mexican latina if you grew up in a household where your mom would make arroz con leche you know that smell where it's like it smells like rice but then you smell vanilla and cinnamon and then when it's cooking, oh, like it smells like that. It smells so freaking good. That's what it reminds me of. Arroz con leche, sweet rice. And it smells really good, but it's a little bit more sweeter. This smells really good. This is like another one of my freaking favorites. So I did purchase the body mist and I did end up purchasing the actual perfume as well. And this one, it's more of like in a purplish gold orange box. It has more of like a yellow tint to it. See. I would use this for maybe like fall. It's more of a fall scent. Maybe summer. Depends, you know, on your personality. So I did end up purchasing the perfume and the body spray for that one. Now the next one. Okay. The wood elix I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce that right. Wood elixir. Elixir? Elixir. I don't know. But I did purchase the body spray for this one as well. So this one, it does smell good. Like if you go up to a tree and you smell a tree, it smells, it has kind of a little bit of tint of that nature tree scent. If you've ever actually went up to a tree and smelled a tree, it smells like nature. So I would say yes on this one. If you want more of like a neutral, natural scent, like a tree, I would say yes to this. That sounds so weird, like a tree. It does smell good. I do like the scent. The perfume smells more sweeter though, for some reason. And then the next one, the coconut palm, you guys. This one smells like coconuts, of course. It does have a sweet smell to it. And I think this one smells good. I should have bought the damn perfume, but I didn't. Anyways, it's this one. I would say this is good for summer too. A good scent for spring and summer. So ladies, try this one out. I would say yes to this one. And then the other two that I did not purchase because I wasn't a big fan of them. So the one that I did pass on was the last rose so i did pass on this one because i just felt like it was too floral scented for me it does smell like roses but it was like strong it was a strong flower scent so yeah see that one just smelled a little too it just it smells too flowery for me so i did pass up on this one but if you do like the scent of flowers or any flower scents I would go with this one if you're more on the flower scent kind of person and you like smelling like flowers or roses. Like me, I love the smell of roses, but this one, like it reminds me of my grandma's garden, which is a positive thought, but I don't want to smell like that. You know what I mean? It's just too, too flowery for me. But if you like flowers and you love the smell of roses, then yes, I would say yes to this. But for me personally, um, no. It's too flowery scent. So that is why I did not purchase the body spray or the perfume. And then the next one that I did pass on and said nah was the, the tangerine squeeze. Don't get me wrong. I love the smell of oranges and tangerines. But this one, it was too 
too fruity for me. So, yeah, see, that's not, it smells just like tangerines, but too, too much. Yeah, that smells too much orangey for me. Like, it smells like oranges. Like orange juice. It smells like orange juice, kind of. That's too much for me. And, yeah. I did not like that smell. So, I did not purchase the tangerine squeeze or the glass rose. And I didn't purchase the coconut palm because I forgot. I thought I ordered the coconut palm perfume, but I didn't. Other than that, the glass rose and the tangerine squeeze were not my cup of tea. So, I did pass on them. I did not purchase them in the body mist or the perfume. Also, this little thing, you guys. The little sampler kit. I believe this was $13.99. It's good for a sample kit, but I mean, if you spray like, I would say about like six sprays, maybe seven, it's gone within like seven sprays. So is it worth it? I mean, yes and no. If you want to test out the scents before you purchase any of them, I would say yes. But to like think you're going to wear the scent and it'll last, you know, for maybe like a week or two, no. I don't think so no <laughs> out of all of these you guys out of the vanilla bourbon out of the wooden elixir elixir i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right or out of the blackberry tonic and out of the cloud musk i have to say the cloud musk is my all-time favorite it just smells so good i can't get over that scent and for the price of 8.99 in the body mist form like you can't beat it, right? So this one, Cloud Musk, is my all-time favorite. I I really love this one. This one smells really good. Like I said, the Cloud Musk, the Blueberry Tonic, and the Vanilla are my very top favorite. I love those three. They smell super good. As far as lasting wise, though, I don't feel like they last very long. I would say they last maybe for like a good half a day, maybe. But you would have to like carry it with you and continue to spray yourself because I feel like they don't last that long but for the price and for the scent it is worth it but if you're looking for more like an all-day smell maybe buy the perfume instead of the body mist because the body mist is just body mist you can't expect it to last all day but as far as the perfume scent they last maybe a whole day maybe depends on how many squirts you use but i do feel like the perfume lasts longer than the body mist of course so if you're looking for a long lasting scent i would go with the perfumes but if you're looking for more like something that you could carry with you and then like continue to spray yourself throughout the day to keep smelling like that scent i would do the body mist that is perfect for you and then plus it's only 8.99 so it's not bad but that is it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video peace out